Hey there. You join me on a stroll through the back streets of Bethlehem, Mallorca. And it's about an hour and a half before sunset. And I'm just walking down through the village, literally a few hundred meters uh, from the apartment that we're renting. And I'm heading for the coast. I did do a little bit of a exploratory walk down here yesterday. And I can tell you, that the coastline here is full of photographic potential. We've got beautiful textured sandstone cliffs, little coves, mountains in the background. It's pretty spectacular. So let's give this a go and see if we can get some nice evening light that's just coming out and see if we can grab some great pictures. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Well, just check this out, would you? We've got some nicely dappled light, just hidden by the clouds, but peeping in and out. We've got mountains in the background, beautiful painted light. We've got a bit of wind. We've got a, a sea with a lot of waves, and texture and motion in it to capture. We've got the lot. So if we can't make a good image today, sorry, if I can't make a good image today, then uh, I should pack it up and give in because this is, coastal photography paradise. So I'm just gonna have a hunt around, I'm gonna find some compositions, and then I'll show you what I found. Hopefully you can hear me, sorry, it's really, really windy, so, uh, and I didn't bring my lapel mic with me, so I hope you can hear this okay. So we're set up on composition one. Let me spin you round, um, and I'll talk you through it. So basically with this composition, there's three elements, we've got it's a nice little curve of foreground rocks, so we've got some nice wave action breaking over the rocks just around about here, and then we've got some really nice light on the mountains, and I'm just including a couple of the houses um, just for context. I like the idea that uh, uh, there's a little bit of that in this picture as well. It just helps the mid-ground have a little bit of interest. Normally I don't like human habitation in my landscape images, but actually with this one, it kind of feels appropriate to put something like that into the mid-ground. So I've just got to now, the main trick is to time the waves. So I get the waves crashing up over those rocks in the foreground. And I'm basically at F11, ISO 100. Shutter speed at the moment is about an eighth of a second, but with the light coming in and out, that's going to change. So we'll see. I've just got to get this timing because I think if I get the one of the really big waves crashing up over, that's going to really make the foreground uh, of this image work. So let's see how we get on. So I'm pretty happy with this first image. I managed to achieve the elements that I was looking for, which is to get some really nice motion happening in the water, capture the texture detail of the rock in the foreground, and then create a nice sense of depth in the image, leading the eye down the coastline to the village and the mountains at the back. I'm just trying to duck down out of the wind a little bit so that you can hear this audio. So I've just moved a few hundred meters down the beach and um, I've got the tripod sat up, uh, set up next to me here up on a rock and I've just found this nice area uh, a little bit closer to the mountains where there's some uh, beautiful combination of dark rock, uh, violent white waves and then beautiful light on the mountain. So again, a similar sort of settings, F11, ISO 100, around about a fifth of a second just to try and get that right amount of motion. I absolutely don't want to um, smooth the water out too much here. Uh, there's a lovely effects of waves hitting one part of the shoreline just as the wave a little bit further down recedes back over the rock. So I'm just trying to get the timing of that together with the timing of, of the right light on the mountains because it's changing constantly. Um, but hopefully this second composition uh, is gonna be worthwhile. This second image, I think has got a, something about it that's a little bit different from the first one. For me, this image is more about contrast. In truth, the foreground rocks don't really have the same interesting textural detail that the first picture had. 
So I needed to make this image more about the water. I'm a little bit lower, the waves are larger in the frame. And just as the light dropped, I could slow that shutter speed a little bit more. It's about a quarter of a second, just to really capture uh, that sense of violence and motion. this light check out this light on the mountain over my shoulder it's just as the sun's dropping we've just we've lost the light from the foreground but just over the top of the clouds it's picking out the top of the mountains with some really dark cloud behind it's absolutely beautiful so i've switched up to the 70 to 200 f 2.8 uh, and i'm just going no filter 70 mil straight onto those mountains with just a little bit of sea in the foreground looks absolutely awesome this telephoto image is more about background than it is about foreground, which is unusual for a, a photo for me. But I just couldn't resist the golden light on the mountain and that awesome black cloud that was coming in behind it. So in processing this image, I've deliberately kept the foreground quite low key. There's some nice detail there, but I really want your eye to go to those mountains. That's the hero of this shot. Well, things are pretty much going from epic to super epic here. I've switched around 180 degrees now, shooting towards the sunset. We've got beautiful waves down the coastline, rock textures in the foreground, this awesome sky. This is gonna be a very nice final composition for the day. For this final shot, I just got lucky with an amazing sky and buildup of cloud that worked really, really well. Again, this image is more about the water than it is about the rock, but I did leave one little element in the foreground of the picture which is a small rock pool left on the cliff where the water is perfectly still and i just loved the idea that there was this incredibly violent water and this incredibly still water present in the same image so that's just a fun little extra element that people may overlook in the overall um, picture but i just love little details like that Well, as the sun sets finally over my shoulder, that was a pretty damn good evening shoot. I'm really, really happy with that. Sorry if some of the audio on the uh, vlog was probably a little bit subpar, but it's very breezy. Not really a Mallorcan kind of evening in a way. You expect clear blue skies, but I'm really glad I came out because what we got instead was a lot more drama drama in the sea, drama in the sky, with wind and clouds. But it just goes to show, two hours before sunset, it was looking pretty grim. And then just at the right time, we started to just get some breaks in the cloud and it all came together. So that's enormous fun. I can't wait to explore more of this coastline. If you'd like to come along and do that with me, do hit the subscribe button, do hit the like if you've enjoyed this video, and there'll be more coming from Mallorca really, really soon. In the meantime, take care, go safe.